So this is just a little video to show the operation of an oil accumulator, in this case in an R33 GTR. Now the oil accumulator is essentially a large cylinder, in this case uh, AccuSump brand, and it's uh, full of pressurised oil, and its job is to squirt oil into the engine when the uh, oil pump at the engine can't keep up, so hard acceleration um, or uh, hard cornering or something like that. Now um, the cylinder's all charged, you can see it's got about 80 psi oil in it and uh, so it's ready to go. So we've got the cylinder at the, in the boot because that's where it fits and then it's plumbed to the engine. Uh, you can see down in there there's the solenoid which is operated by a switch which turns it off and on. Uh, mostly because that means it allows you to pre-load it before you turn the engine off. Okay, so there that sits. So the first function that we have is pre-oiling. This is where we can pump a bit of oil through the engine at startup to prevent any damage. So in this case, I can turn the car on. Flick the switch, see the oil pressure go up, and I can start the car. Okay, so that's just to prevent uh, excessive engine wear. And you can see the HKS oil pump in this case, plenty of pressure. It's not quite cold, but still 80 psi. Whereas a standard factory Nissan pump will only be pushing about 30 at idle. So the second uh, function is that, as mentioned, when there's a pressure drop, the, uh, the cylinder will, will kick in and push some oil into the system until the pump can catch up and then it recharges. So if we go back to the back, we'll see the cylinder has 80 psi in it, which is the same as the system. turn the car off, the oil pressure falls away, but the cylinder holds its pressure, okay, so it's ready for the next pre-oil. Now, fortunately it's uh, smart enough that I don't actually have to turn the switch off, which I'll now do though, it knows when the ignition's off so it doesn't try and pump oil through, but if that switch is on, as soon as the key turns on, you can see the gauge going through and it's trying to pump oil in. If we go to the back, we can watch the pressure slowly drop as it expends that oil. Now, it's not going to drop very fast because the engine's not turning over so it's not consuming that much oil. And we can still, we've still got a bit of pressure there. Let it charge up again. Which is quite slow as you can see. And once we've got oil pressure up in the back there we can switch the toggle switch off. 